Hi, this is Andy from Advice Interactive and in this video I'm showing you how to use the Scene Camera tool. The Scene Camera tool is supposed to be used by people who are working with the visuals in Unity. The visuals in Unity are sometimes a little bit tedious because usually you work in this scene view over here but the actual view in the game is the game view. So the gamer is going to see that but you are working over here and yeah there's a gap between those two worlds and we try to close it with this tool so first of all let me show how to open it go to window and then select scene camera tool over here you just need to specify which camera you would like to work with in our case it's the soldier camera which is this camera here. Oh, yeah, it's just a game camera. So let's drag it in here. Now we have two possibilities. We can either say we'd like to synchronize the scene view with the game view or the other way around. First of all, we'd like to move the scene view and such that we see exactly what we are seeing in the game view. We do it with that one, with that button. And from now on, we'd like to go the other way around, but interactively. So the result is I can now drag in here. I can, I just can use the, the usual um, scene view tools, all the navigation stuff, and I see an immediate update over here. So let me quickly focus and I can rotate a little better. That's it. And I mean, all the artists probably directly see a lot of applications, how they can use it. One of them is for instance, if you have a camera path, you can just drop each camera on your path into this field and then really, really say for each of those keyframes, okay, I'd like to have a, this view or a different one. And you directly see over here the final result. I mean, if, if you have two monitors, you can even drag the game view and have it full screen on the second screen and just modify in here in the scene view and see really the final result of your game on the second screen. Another possibility is if you model the stuff or no, not model, if you place your game objects in Unity and you are working based on some kind of concept art or reference images then I mean it's over here you see obviously it's quite hard if you work with color because the color in the scene view is very different from the, the actual game view in such a situation you can just pick the game camera the main game camera duplicate it drag it out maybe or actually, yeah, it's a good thing to rename the stuff and uh, call that one or let's say game level camera, camera, just something that you know what it is for. I mean, you, you don't want the camera in the game. So uh, as soon as you hit play or before you hit play, you should actually deactivate it or maybe create a script that deactivates this camera automatically. But we will use this camera here to navigate through the level, but directly see in the game view what is actually going on. How is the final lock of each camera position? So one thing is missing at the moment. We have to make sure that the camera is really the one we see in the game view. And to achieve that, we need to go to the depth and increase it to a higher value like 100 so right now we got it so right at the moment we have the advantage that the main camera stays with the soldier of course it is procedurally animated or I, I mean by a script but it still makes sense that we don't move this one too far uh, too far away from its position so let's go to any position where we can modify stuff. 
And as I said, if you have, for instance, con uh, concept art, you can now go in here, modify the color as you wish and do all the stuff and you have always the possibility to see the final view in game. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.